Hi everyone, I'm going to do the memory verse for you today. But before we look what the memory verse is, I'm going to give you some clues and I want to see if you can work out what I am hiding. First clue is it's an animal. It is colourful and it's got two legs. Can you work out what I'm hiding? No? I'll give you some more clues. It can fly. It can repeat what you say. Have you worked it out? What do you think it is? If you said it's a parrot, you are correct. That's what I was hiding. I'll pop him up here. The next one I'm going to do, see if you can work out what this one is. It's a person. He knows everything. If you said dad, you're not right. He is everywhere. He never changes and he is super powerful. Last clue, he is the creator of the universe. Who do you think it is? If you said God, you are right. Now let's have a look at the memory verse that we were going to, going to do. It says, be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Now last week, Stuart looked at the part about serving, serving other people. Today we're going to look at what it means to, be, to fear the Lord. It's a bit of a tricky one. It says, be sure to fear the Lord. Now we just looked at all those amazing things that God is. He's everywhere. He never changes. He's powerful. He knows everything. Be sure to fear the Lord means to remember these things, to remember how amazing God is. And because God is so amazing, we want to live in a way that pleases him. And we want to serve him with all our heart and all our soul. So be sure to fear the Lord means to remember how amazing God is. Let's say this memory verse together again. Be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. That comes from 1 Samuel 12 verse 24. Have a great week everyone.